Hi-Fi audio video equipments are extremely sensitive. And what I mean by sensitive is that when you have heavy surges or if you want to safeguard your equipments, you need these three devices that I am going to cover in today's video. Now, before I begin, let me introduce myself. Hello everyone, my name is Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. And since last 10 years, we have designed more than thousands of home theaters across India. And I know that you want to design your home theater too. So for that, make sure to check the link that is shared in the description as well as above. And let us jump on to the three products that I am talking about. But before we jump on to those three products, here is a big disclaimer which I want to talk to most of the guys who are already having home theater. And that is that if your home theater system is currently connected to a socket which is further connect to a, connected to an inverter, then I want you to remove those just immediately after this video. Because inverter you know, supplies gives a reverse current to these devices and the manufacturers mention that even on their boxes that you are not supposed to connect these devices to any inverter supply. So make sure to do that and let us move on to the first product which is the surge protector. Now the surge protector in a very simple language is a product which is going to take care of the surges. What is surges? Well in India 230 volts is the common AC supply voltage but we don't get a 230 volts AC supply constantly. We have the voltage going down to 200 volts we have the spikes going up to 300 volts and during these times this easy to buy surge protector is the best device which you can buy to safeguard your electronic equipments and they can start from as low as 600 to 800 rupees for a single or a two socket strip similarly if you want to buy a six socket strip which you can connect it behind the amplifier cabinet then that will cost you around 2000 rupees and one of the brands that we recommend is shared in the description so go check that link and buy it if that works for you because such protectors job as i said is only to safeguard the equipment during heavy surges now let us look at the second product the second product is the ups ups stands for uninterrupted power supply which means that these ups are going to give power backups in case there is a power failure so let's say if you're watching a movie and suddenly there is a power failure what you are supposed to do is not continue watch the entire movie but you're supposed to take 5-10 minutes breathing time and have your entire system turn off properly. But to do this, you can't just buy any normal UPS. You have to buy an UPS which is called as online UPS or they also call it as interactive line UPS. Now both these UPS models need to have a voltage stabilization or a voltage regulator. The job of voltage regulator over here in the same UPS is similar to surge protector but it is not exactly surge protection what they do is that they maintain a steady supply of 230 volts irrespective of the supply line which will again take care of your equipments it will not make them damaged and the power backup will ensure that you can turn off the projector lamp properly or you can turn off the amplifier properly so again some of the best products that we would recommend for ups are shared in the description buy that if you feel that works for you in your environment and this is typically for those who are residing in you know tier 2 tier 3 cities of our country wherein the power supply stable you know is not very very stable and even you have lot of power failures happening so do buy this product and let us now look at the third product which is the power conditioner now i know power conditioner as a term when you have googled about lot of home theaters you have seen people put up those power conditioner strips and you are confused that you know what in india we talk about ups or or the such protectors we never talk about power conditioners what are those should i really buy them but when i google them i find them very very expensive and what not right so the three things or one of the three uh, main factors that separates the power conditioner than these ups and the surge protector is that a power conditioner is actually filtering the input uh, electric supply for instance the supply that you get in your home is 230 volts ac and it has a frequency of i think 60 hertz or something 50 60 hertz but that's not going to be standard like for instance a grid is located somewhere and then you have so many houses in the middle and then you have a transformer to extend the line and then the electric current comes to your home 
and from that main DB board of yours, you have so much of electronic device, electronic and electrical device in your home that is going to again absorb a lot of current. And in these cases, when you have a home theater system connected to it, lot of distortions or lot of filtrations is going to happen. And that is where this power conditioner's job is to condition the power signal and give you a much more better output. Now we have done a small example which you can check wherein we played a system with the same volume level, same amplifier, same electronics but connected to direct supply and on the second part what we did is we used the power conditioner. You can check for yourself that how your system's performance totally changes by using a power conditioner. Now this you will not see happening in your surge protector as well as on your UPS. <laughs>